Good afternoon and happy birthday, Laurel. On Saturday, April the 4th, it was Laurel's birthday, celebrating 150 years of service to the community. Thanks to all those residents who took part in their, putting their poster in their window or on their door. It was a lot of fun. It was a good time. And hopefully it took your mind off of some of the things that are going on around us. I want to thank Karen Lubinecki for the suggestion. And th again, thank all of you all for taking part. To the law residents and businesses, thank you for taking the time to listen to these community updates. Let me also thank members of the Laurel City Council for all of their support while we work through this ever-changing pandemic, especially Council Member and President Sidnor for sitting through many of our meetings and our conference calls. We again thank all of them for their support. I want to remind the Laurel community that your government always prepares for the worst and hopes for the best. We continue to monitor and work with our public safety and health officials at the county, state, and federal levels of government. The city is coordinating and following the advice from our health officer, and we follow the guidance from CDC, state, and county public health departments to keep us all safe from this virus. All city departments continue to follow our coronavirus workforce action plan to provide them the best guidance and procedures for keeping them safe. The City of Laurel's Emergency Operations Center continues to be open at a partial level. The City of Laurel continues to enforce the governor's executive orders along with the executive orders that I've signed here at the city. It is important for every citizen to follow the CDC guidelines, keeping your six foot distance and no more than 10 people at any gathering. As I have reported before, access to city buildings and indoor recreational facilities are restricted to city employees only. We have activated our continuity of operations plans that identifies the critical activities necessary to maintain essential services for the citizens of Laurel. We have activated our continuity of operations plans that identifies the critical services necessary to maintain essential services for our citizens of Laurel. We have implemented a 60% workforce reduction plan at our municipal center, and we have enhanced telework programs to allow our staff to work from home. Our Department of Public Works has implemented a 40% staff reduction plan that eliminates all non-critical services, such as planting of trees, non-emergency routine road repairs, sidewalk repairs, while maintaining essential services, such as trash collection, recycling, organic recycling, composting, and trash, bulk trash pickups. Our police department is fully staffed and is responding to emergency calls. Non-emergency requests for service are being managed by our telephone reporting unit. All senior van transportation will continue to operate and will allow seniors to be transported to medical appointments, kidney dialysis, and grocery stores. I have left outdoor parks open to the public, but no gatherings more than 10 persons shall be allowed, and it will be enforced by our police department. Signs have been posted advertising residents that play equipment and structures are closed. I met by conference call with the co-chairs of the 150th anniversary celebration, and after discussion with them, I announced the following events are canceled. May the 5th, Lake Fest. May the 16th, National Kids to Park Day. June the 5th, the Bike Decorating Parade. June the 16th, a day at the races. We have also canceled the September 26th event, Celebrate Laurel Today. That was going to be held at the McCullough Field, and we had to go ahead and cancel that now because of the contracts that we needed to sign now. So we felt it best to uh, cancel that, and we hope that we will be able to reschedule this and many other events uh, regarding the 150th anniversary at a later date. The Laurel Board of Trade has uh, had a conference call with me as well. We discussed the annual Main Street Festival. After our discussion, the city and the board came to the same conclusion that the Laurel Main Street Festival scheduled for May the 9th will be canceled. And I hope that we'll be able to reschedule this festival before the end of the year. We'll keep you posted. We're working hard to get business information 
and how your business has been and will be affected by the coronavirus pandemic. We will work to get federal, state, and county funding to help your business. Then my time with the mayor scheduled on Monday, April the 13th is canceled. Our first city hall in the park scheduled for Wednesday, April the 15th has also been canceled. And I'm happy to announce that the city of Laurel is allowing temporary banners without a permit for those businesses that are able to stay open per the state's executive order. The business must have an active use and occupancy permit on file with the city and the banner may remain up until the business is able to fully reopen. Our senior information hotline is still up, and I'd like to remind you of that number if you have questions. It's 240-517-7974. If you have a small business and you need help navigating the funds and grants to assist local merchants through the COVID-19 pandemic, please give the City of Laurel Small Business Information Hotline a call at 301-356-3876. And that is between the hours of 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. We've also established a Spanish hotline. And if you'd like to call that number, it's Monday through Friday from 9 to 5. It's 240-805-3167. And that's for anybody that has questions regarding different things that are happening in the community as well as where we can direct you to get assistance. The Public Works Department has made the following adjustments to their April spring cleaning schedule. The electronic and paper shredding event scheduled for April the 18th has been canceled. Public Works is currently working on an alternate date. Community dumpster placement is suspended until further notice. Public Works will reach out to community for alternate dates and it will be announced as soon as possible. The council president and I met and discussed the Mayor and City Council meetings. The next meeting of the Mayor and City Council will be held on April the 27th at 6 p.m. That is a time change. It's 6 p.m. And at that time, the budget and CIP will be introduced and they'll have a first public hearing on that. The April the 13th meeting, Mayor and City Council meeting, is canceled. That's the April 13th meeting is canceled. You'll be able to watch all of these and take part in these meetings uh, by signing on to go to meeting. This, this information will come out in the next few days on where you can uh, sign up and what the access code will be to take part in those meetings. Let me also uh, give you our budget meetings. They've been scheduled as well. As I said, on April the 27th, there'll be an introduction and first public hearing. On May the 4th will be the second public hearing. And on Friday, May the 8th, that will be the third public hearing and possible action on our budget, FY 2021, and the CIP. All of these meetings will take place at 6 p.m. Um, and you will be able to take part in those meetings. So look for uh, on our website for a press release that tells you how to get in to go to meeting to take part in those. Due to security issues, the City of Laurel will no longer be using Zoom to host or to sign into any meetings of those individuals that are using Zoom. I also want to remind you, uh, we have a new program that we've set up, and you can get that at our website at www.cityoflaurel.org. On the front page, and look for Virtual Family Fun. Check it out. It's, as I said, it's on our website. It's a lot of fun for the whole family and a lot of places to go virtually. We have a long way to go, and it will require all of us working together and following the CDC guidelines. I hope you will continue to tune in on Mondays for my city updates. I encourage all of you to follow along on one of our many social media platforms and stay up to date by visiting our website often. We're asking all of you to stay home to help save lives and to slow the spread. Remember, we are all in this together. Until next time, thank you.